Hey, how you doing ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy Richard. Today I am here. I want to actually talk to y'all about something. This is for all the grown-ups out there. Um, now I've noticed that um, I've been not collecting pocket knives, but I've noticed that, you know, now since I have two, the bug has kind of bit me to where I'm looking at more pocket knives to, you know, basically kind of start a collection of pocket knives. Now, the first thing I want to say is if you're a parent right now, and if there's a kid that is right next to you or is watching this video, make sure either you tell them to go or you move yourself. Because when I do videos, especially like this, this is not for kids to be watching. I don't want no kids to get no ideals that knives are, you know, a tool to be used and to cut anybody or anything. You know what I'm saying? I'm the type of individual where it's all about safety first. That's what I'm about. Second, for all my people out there that have subscribed, I want to thank each and every one that have subscribed already. And if you haven't, definitely right after this video, give your boy the big thumbs up and then go ahead to subscribe for your boy. Because unfortunately, unfortunately, YouTube has it to where if you don't have a thousand subscribers, you can't go live. So I need y'all to help your boy out, get to a thousand so I can start putting out those live videos for y'all. Now, let's get right into it. Now, the first uh, knife that I ever bought, pocket knife that I ever bought, was this knife. It was like $9 at the corner store, but it gets the job done, and it is a, it, it looks like a cheap knife, but it's actually a well-put-together knife, and it is this knife right here, as you see. It is a razor technical knife. I don't know if y'all can see the name real good but it is called razor tactical the one thing that drew me to this knife was the fact that it has the honeycomb patterns on there when you grip in the knife you know it has that real good grip it don't slip out your hand you know if you accidentally do like this it's not going to just automatically slip like some knives does the also thing that i like about this is the weight to it this got a nice little bit of weight to it. It's not too heavy. It's not too light. It's like right in the middle. And for $9.99, that's a good deal. Number three, the reason why I bought this was because of the clip. Look at the clip. The fact of the matter that the clip got that nice little curve to it, it basically makes it real easy to clip onto your pants and you're on your way some knives they have the clips where it's straight down and it is a hassle to clip on your pants me being the security guard I need a knife not for the protecting myself but just in case of anything happened <clears throat> we've actually had a accident whereas I had to actually cut a young lady's seat belt and so she could be able to get out the vehicle if I didn't have a knife, she would be in trouble. So that is the main reason I carry a knife, not to defend myself, but just in case of anything happened. And if somebody like, hey, we need something to cut this person out or to cut these wires or whatever, that's the main reason I have a knife. Now, the third and most important reason why I bought this knife is because of the fact of when it unfolds, as I call it, just that right hit button right quick and it automatically pops out it's not about me pulling it out then having to pull it up no it's like real quick real simple in like one second just like that that nice fiber that it has on there is real nice too now i know this knife is as you see is definitely dirty i gotta clean it but also the fourth and major thing i like how it curves that nice little curve with the precision point. That right there is also kind of cool. But like I said, this is, you know, my first ever official knife that I actually bought. And just the fact that it was $10 and it has all of this going for it, 
I love it. You know what I'm saying? Now, the second knife <clears throat> that I have was actually given to me by an employee of mine. And when I say compared to this $10 knife, this to me now is like a, basically like a toy. You know what I'm saying? And it's bad to say that compared to this bad boy right here. Now, as you can see right here, it's all stainless steel. It definitely got a nice bit of weight compared to this. This is like lightweight compared to this. Um, the fact that it has that stainless steel all around it, it got the black rubber grips to it. And unfortunately, the clip is an issue. That is the only thing out of the whole package of this knife that I don't like is the clip. And that's only because of the clip going down and get that little bitty curve hook. It's like, and it's, you know, got that nice little strong weight to it. But it is so hard to clip onto your pants that you really got to take your time on putting this on your pants. Or it will rip your jeans. It will rip your uh, work pants. It has happened to me and it has been a disaster. Now, when it comes to this uh, particular one, this is a Smith & Western SWAT knife. So, it is definitely one of those great knives that Smith & Western has brought out. So, you know for a fact that they have took their time in building the ultimate knife. And the fact that, look at this. I'm going to show you all right quick. Look at that. I didn't even have to push on it. And it automatically came out. Look at that. One more time. Bam. And then you flick it. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And then it got the teeth right here. The teeth. You know, just in case. Like, the one thing I like about this over this knife is the fact with the teeth. Because a lot of people don't know with the teeth being on a knife, just in case if you got to cut something and... You know, it's not cutting regularly with the regular blade. With the teeth, it really digs down and really get the job done. You know, and the fact that, like I said, Smith & Western, look at that, Swats. This is, to me, the granddaddy of a Mar type of knife because of the fact that it has all this going for it. Even though it has that one issue with the clip. That exceeds everything else that goes with it. Because the clip, I can get over the clip. But just everything that comes in this little package is the best. You know what I'm saying? The fact that it's stainless steel. The fact that you have the black rubber on there. The fact that the knife is easy. So easy. Like if you're in a rush and you got to get to somebody like their car could have flipped over and you got to go ahead and cut their seat belt so they could be free. Just to sit back, push it, and flip. You're ready to go. And with these beautiful indented teeth right here. As y'all can, let me see if y'all can see that right quick. As y'all can see those beautiful teeth. That right there will get the job done when it comes to cutting a seat belt, wires, or anything. And the blade very sharp that is one definite thing i love about this knife it is a all in all i can't like me personally being a person that's starting to collect knives i can't see myself buying another brand like i am like so hooked on smith and western knives because of this knife right here and just for a little test we're gonna put these side by side so y'all can see blade by blade. And you can, let me see if you can definitely tell. You know what I'm saying? That this blade is a little bit more taller than this blade. But like I said, at the end of the day, they both do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? The only difference is with this knife, it has the teeth and any knife that has a teeth that's automatic a great knife because of the fact that not only is you going to be able to cut but you're going to be able to really get in there 
and just cut real quick and you're going to be able to either help a person be free or what have you. You know what I'm saying? I will be bringing more knives. Uh, we buy more, especially from Smith & Western. If you are interested in buying a Smith & Western knife, definitely go to smithandwestern.com. Check them out. They got more stuff. They got batons. They got handcuffs. You know, this is for, for this one, it's not more about the guns. It's just more about the tactical and that stuff like this. Well, I am your boy Richard. I want to thank each and every one that checked this video out and that will. And remember, this video is not for kids. This is only for grown-ups that is interested in collecting knives. Already, I've showed y'all two knives that can get y'all ready and get y'all set in getting into the pocket knife collector. The next knife I want to actually buy, I want to actually buy an old school knife. And what I mean by old school knife, it's like the godfather type of knife where you got the pearl handle and it just flick out right quick. Um, also, I'm going to buy, since um, I do have a great nephew and great niece that come by, um, I'm definitely about to buy this week a lockbox. You know what I'm saying? I already got a lockbox that I put them in that has a code and everything, but it's a older model lock box so i'm about to get a better and newer one like i said that is your basic essentials before i get out of here you definitely need a lock box if you have small ones around you um you definitely is going to need a cover um i'm gonna buy some definitely covers so instead of having it like this i could just put it on here lock it up put it in there and then I'm good to go. But once again, this is your boy Richard. Do not forget to subscribe and give your boy that big thumbs up for this video. For all my people out there that's already subscribed, once again, thank you all so, so much for subscribing. And for the ones that is about to subscribe, thank you so, so much for the bottom of my heart. Any questions that you have about this particular YouTube event or any other I will definitely hit you back. It's your boy Richard. Now I'll let y'all later.